My name is Genevieve. I'm a paleoanthropologist and rock art researcher, and I'm here again today answering questions for the Q&A series of Cave Art 101. Today's question is a really interesting one because it's one of those ones that kind of floats around the internet and almost has like some mythology of its own attached to it. So this is a question from Absalom, and he wanted to know about the Basque language and whether it was in fact a direct paleo language, is it associated with the geometric art? All those sorts of questions about is it some sort of isolated leftover from the paleo that survived all the different waves of migration coming into Europe. So fantastic question, thank you for asking it. Now, for those who don't know, really quick um, background here. So the Basque are a culture group in northern Spain. They live up in a very mountainous region right with the border with France. There's also Basque country in France as well. So they are a culture group that kind of spans between these areas. They are, they have a different language, they have a bit of a different look, different culture. So there's been certainly like a debate and questions about whether they are, you know, are they genetically the same as other folks from Spain and France, or are they some different one? Are they from an earlier migration, maybe remnants of a Paleolithic culture? So until recently, we didn't have a good answer to this, but thanks to genetics, now we actually can answer the question, which is pretty cool. So here is what we found out in recent times. So in 2021, that was the most recent one, they did a quite a comprehensive genetic survey and they also had linguists involved as well. So it was a really good interdisciplinary study they did. And what they found was that the Basque culture does include um, Neolithic farmer DNA. It does include other groups as well of migrants who sort of came in at different times. Because um, basically, way back in the day, there was sort of the original people who entered Europe around, say, 30, 40, 50,000 years ago. And they were kind of the big first wave. And then progressively, even through the Ice Age, other genetic groups came in, which we can now track using our genetic lineages that we've we've managed to trace. Um, and then, of course, at the end of the Ice Age, around 10, 12,000 years ago, we see the rise of agriculture in the Middle East, and we see what we call the Neolithic farmers. So these are the first farmers from that Middle East region who came themselves in and started to spread out across Europe and they took farming with them wherever they went and that was the birth of farming and agriculture in Europe. So the Basque are also part of that mix of groups and they were saying if you go back to say the Iron Age, which I believe is around 5,000-ish years ago in Europe, maybe a little further, you will find that the Basque have quite nice Iron Age type genetic mix. Uh, same with the language. So it is an older language, just like the genetics are a little bit older in the sense that the Basque didn't um, interact with, say, the Moors when they came later or the Romans. And they think it has a lot to do with, of course, they live way up in the mountains. It's a very isolated region and they were able to just kind of mind their own business. But they are descended from the farmers as well. So we got a bit of both going on there. And so the, the short answer is that no, they're not just Paleolithic descendants that were sort of like, you know, lost in time in their own little tiny part of the continent, but they definitely do, as honestly everybody up there does. They are an interesting combination of ancient Paleolithic DNA mixed with incoming Neolithic farmer DNA. And so they're a bit of a mix, but then there does appear to have been a period of isolation that happened after that. And so while the rest of us Europeans, myself included, since that's where my family's from, we're kind of all a big dog's breakfast of all the different groups that were coming and going, there there is a stronger sense of isolation and that probably helps to explain the genetics, the culture, and the language. So best understanding right now is not not directly related to the Ice Age in, in that sense, but still obviously a very cool culture and I've really enjoyed all the time that I've had to spend in Basque Country. So thanks for the great question, Absalom.